The holiday season should be a merry time for children, but some may be going through a difficult time or even a tragic event. So how do kids grieve and how can adults help? Local pediatrician Dr. Teresa Wee joins us now live with some tips. Good morning, Dr. Wee. Thanks for joining us once again. Good morning, Chris. Now, we never want to see our young ones, our cakey hurt or even sad, but they do grieve, even the little ones. But how do they grieve differently than we do? You know, children do grieve and their moods can be very, um, they could be playful one minute and they could be very sad the next. But the most important thing is for parents and caregivers to just pay attention to really listen to them and support them. Grieving is a, is a family process. And so if you've lost a loved one or someone very important, you know, you could do something together to in memory of them or start a new tradition. And I, I think, you know, when you do it together, they don't feel that they're alone. And it might be hard to believe, but kids as young as four or five years old can actually be grieving. You might not think about that. You might think, you know, kids, they should be having fun, but kids do feel sadness at that young of an age. They, they do, and, and they're, because of the age differences, um, they do grieve differently. For example, toddlers two to five years have magical thinking. They can think that the person will reappear the next day or perhaps maybe they did something to, to hurt them. And then for school age children, five to 12, they're just beginning to understand that death is permanent. But again, they, they may have a lot of emotions and anxiety about whether they're gonna die or their loved ones will die. And then finally, the teens, the teens definitely understand death is permanent. And sometimes these emotions can be so difficult to handle that, that they will go either act out or, or move inward and isolate themselves. So, so different processes. Before we get to the tips on how we can all grieve and help kids grieve, how long does the grieving process last? Because a lot of people might think, you know, kids are resilient, they're tough, they can endure a lot. How long can they be going through this process and we might not even know about it? You, you know, the grieving process is, is such an individual thing. And, and, you know, some people will say, well, it's been a year, you should get over it but there is no timeline. Um, sometimes grief can come in waves, even five or 10 years later. So it, it's really important to, to um, understand that, that grief is, is gonna be individual. And, and if it's very, very hard, you know, my advice uh, is to just take one day at a time. You know, don't look at the future too long. Just, just take it day by day. And Dr. Ree, what are some other ways that we can help children grieve or we can all kind of help each other grieve as a family, especially during the holiday season? Yeah, I, I think it's important to remember to take care of yourself, be kind to yourself, um, make sure that you're getting rest and eating and exercising and moving. And um, I think it's always a good idea to, you know, if you don't want to do anything for Christmas, you don't have to. Do what makes you feel good. Um, don't overextend yourself. If, if you don't want to go to a party, just say no, and it's perfectly fine. Um, the other thing is seek support. Um, for myself, I've gone to a grief support group and, and just talking it out and sharing feelings with others who have gone through the same thing really helps. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Teresa Wee, for joining us once again. It's just a quick note. Walk with a Doc will resume next month, January 8th. Yes. Know, so right. we're gonna, yes, Central Oahu Regional Park, 8 a.m. every right. Saturday. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Dr. Wee. Happy holidays. Same to you. Bye-bye, Chris. Bye.